An observer views a rocket takeoff from a distance of three miles from the launch pad and tracks the elevation. Notice how we have three parts here. For part A, we want to express the height of the rocket as a function of the angle of elevation theta. To do this, let's use the model given here below to label the given information. If this is the launch pad, and the observer views the takeoff from a distance of three miles away, the length of this side here would be three miles, and therefore the length of this side of a right triangle would be the height of the rocket, which we'll label h. And therefore the angle of elevation would be this angle here of our right triangle. Notice in relation to this angle theta, the angle of elevation, we'll be working with the opposite side as well as the adjacent side of a right triangle. Therefore, if we want an equation that relates this angle and these two sides, this should remind us of the tangent function, where tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So to get started, let's say tangent theta equals, again, the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, or h divided by three. But our goal is to express the height h as a function of our angle theta, so now let's solve this for h by multiplying both sides by three. This is really three over one, so notice how the threes simplify to one, giving us the equation h equals three tangent theta. So now we do have h as a function of theta, but we can also write this using function notation as h of theta equals three tangent theta. Of course, these two equations are equivalent. This last one is just written using function notation. Now let's take a look at part b. We want to express the angle of elevation theta as a function of the height h of the rocket. So we'll begin with the equation tangent theta equals h divided by three again. But now because we want theta as a function of h, we'll have to solve this equation for theta, not h. Since we have tangent theta, if we take the inverse tangent or arctangent of both sides of the equation, we can solve this for theta. So if we take inverse tangent of both sides of the equation, we'd have inverse tangent of tangent theta equals inverse tangent of h divided by three. Looking at the left side, inverse tangent of tangent theta equals theta. And on the right side, we have inverse tangent of h divided by three. Now we have theta as a function of h. So we could write theta of h equals inverse tangent of h divided by three but in our online homework, they prefer us to use arctangent rather than inverse tangent. So this would be equivalent to theta of h equals arctangent of h divided by three. Now let's take a look at part c. When the angle of elevation is 32 degrees, we want to find the height of the rocket. So because we're looking for the height, we'll use the first function that we found that said h of theta is equal to three tangent theta. So in this case, we have h of 32 degrees, which is equal to three times tangent 32 degrees. This is not a nice reference angle, so we'll have to use the calculator for decimal approximation for the height. But the first thing we should do is make sure that we are in degree mode. So we'll press the mode key arrow down to the third row and highlight degree, press enter, go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit, and now we'll enter three, tangent, 32, close parenthesis, enter. So the distance would be approximately 1.8746, and the units would be miles. I hope you found this helpful.